normally we would get to do this together, but since we are doing some distance learning right now, um, this is the next best thing. Today we are going to be releasing our full-grown butterflies and ladybugs. Um, we've gotten to see them change and grow over these last couple weeks. Um, we started it in the classroom and then you guys got to see some of those changes um, from your own homes via the internet. So today we're going to get to say goodbye and, and see why it's so important that these guys can help in the wild. So let's start with our ladybugs first today. Um, our ladybugs, they are pollinators as well, just like we learned for our butterflies. The ladybugs are pollinators. That means that they go round to different plants and they help spread pollen. That helps the plants grow in their life cycle. So these ladybugs have been really active recently. They've been inside their habitat, um, running around, finding some treats. I put in some rehydrated raisins for them. It's a really sweet treat for them. And they, as soon as I came outside, they were ready to go. They started to run around even faster. They could feel that fresh air. And some of them even got their wings out, ready to go to fly off. Now, behind me are some roses. And roses are known for having aphids. A lot of roses like to have aphids. And aphids are small, tiny, little insects that ladybugs like to eat so I figured sitting out here next to the roses would be a great opportunity for these ladybugs to find some aphids so that they could thrive and help pollinate in our area. So we're gonna take one last look for those ladybugs. You can see them they're starting to fly around in there. It is a little humid in their habitat so that's why it's kind of foggy in there. It's hard to see but there's some ladybugs that are flapping their wings, ready to go. So let's do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to open this up and I'm going to move it a little bit closer to the rose bushes too. Okay, we're going to open that up. We'll see if any ladybugs fly off any of them flying yet but you can see them crawling here on my lid and in our land do you see them there and I'm just gonna put them over here by the roses so that way they can access those aphids All right. a blast but certainly not least are our butterflies and as you can see right now they're flapping around too they can feel oh here's a ladybug a ladybug flew on over to our to our butterflies you see them on the net now our butterflies just like the ladybugs are feeling that fresh air and they're really excited to get to go and start pollinating some flowers these guys like to fly around and when they fly around they land on flowers to get the nectar when they take the nectar from the flower pollen gets all over them and when it gets all over them they go from flower to flower and they help spread that pollen to grow new plants and new seeds which is amazing and it helps our gardens thrive it helps that cycle of life for the plants but it also helps give us air because remember plants take in the air that we breathe out and we take in the air that the plants breathe out it's a relationship that helps both plants and humans so if we add butterflies and ladybugs it'll help our world work together so i think it is time now one last thing before we say goodbye to our butterflies. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be flying off today. But unfortunately, our Butterfly Tuesday did not survive. Tuesday is the caterpillar whose chrysalis fell off when the other butterfly or other caterpillars were making their chrysalis. And since Tuesday's chrysalis fell down, it had a hard time emerging as a butterfly because the chrysalis wasn't hanging up. And when Tuesday came out of its chrysalis, its wings were really damaged and they couldn't open up like a normal butterfly's. 
and it had a really hard time moving around the habitat. And since it had a hard time moving around the habitat, it couldn't get to the orange slices that were feeding it. It couldn't open its wings to start thriving. And unfortunately, Tuesday's life cycle ended. So Tuesday will not be flying off. But we are so excited that we got to watch Tuesday grow and change, and now we're excited that we get to release these butterflies to help our environment. Are you guys ready? Let's go ahead. We're gonna open up. So I'm gonna turn the net, so that way you guys can see. They might not fly out all at once, but we'll get to see them go, and we'll get to say goodbye as they do. Are you ready? Let's do a countdown. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see these butterflies go. You might have to coax them out a little bit too. Come on, guys. Come on out. Maybe I can move them with our orange slice here. There's one. Do you see him? See if he flies off. We'll put him over by the roses as well. Let's see if anyone else is gonna come out. Come on out, guys. Come on out. You can do it. They're all having a quick snack with the oranges before they fly off. being really careful not to touch them so that way you don't accidentally hurt them. You just want to maybe move things around so that it's not as comfortable for them to live in. Oh, there goes one. Let's see if another one will make its way out. We've got two left inside our habitat. They really love the oranges. The orange juice is kind of like uh, the nectar that they would get from flowers. See, I gently press the bottom of our habitat here. One of our butterflies might take off. Come on out, guys. We need you to pollinate the world. It's getting that fresh air and it's seeing. You can feel it and it knows that it's coming. Come on out, little guy. So close, he's right at the opening. Come on out. Come on out. Oh, and there's a breeze outside that makes it feel good. They're feeling that fresh air. Let's check on our little schedule and wait for our butterflies to emerge. getting excited, he wants to go. Oh, there he goes. There goes one of our butterflies. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but he landed back on our blanket. He's not quite ready to leave us. <laughs> Most of our ladybugs have taken off. We've still got a couple hanging on in here, not wanting to leave yet. Just like our butterflies. Butterflies are hanging out around me. I'm going to try and move them to some of the flowers so that way we really get excited and start to make it on their own. They're making their way. They want to go and find those flowers. We've still got one guy. He's made it so that he's no longer on the orange in here. He's really close on that net. He's right there next to the door. Oh, he's right there. There he goes. Oh my gosh. And with that, that was our last butterfly. Thank you guys so much for helping me grow these amazing pollinators and hopefully we'll get to look at some other 
fabulous things this year, even though we're learning from a distance. Have a great rest of your day, guys.